Hey dudes! In today's video, I'm gonna be introducing you guys to the Fall 76 stock market method. Now, this is a very easy method, but it, it can get a little complicated, especially the way I explained it, because I'm really bad at explaining things. But um, I hope you guys enjoy the video, and please be sure to like and subscribe. Alrighty, step number one, subscribe, okay? This glitch is not gonna work. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Okay, um, I just wanna say a quick shout out to everybody who has subscribed, because it's been a lot of support and it's been like insane, even though obviously if you're looking, I don't really have a lot of subscribers, but I mean, every little bit helps. So if you have subscribed, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And uh, okay, that's, that's really gone with the video now. Also, by the way, this is a little confusing. So I break it down super simple for you guys at the very end. So you can either watch this whole thing. If you don't understand it, just um, wait for the end and I'll explain it like super. I'll break it down like crazy. Or you can just um, skip to the very end, or not the very end, but you know near the end, and then I'm going to be breaking it down super simple for you guys. Okay, so before I actually really start the video and get into everything, I don't want to <laughs> keep you guys let on, so I'm just going to show you guys the logistics of this method, so you guys know if you really want to do this method or not. You can just click off the video, that's totally fine too. Okay, so let's start. So what this method really is, is... You basically start off with one legendary weapon or mm, multiple that you don't use anyway. But rather than just selling them to uh, and putting them in your vending machine and just hoping that somebody will come by and and buy from the vending machine, you, there's another way to do it. Now, the reason that buying from your that having people buy from your vending machine isn't always a good way to sell your weapons is because people that go to vending machines aren't always going to be going for the weapons right they're going for ammo they're going for um, meds um, medical supplies you know stuff like that so even if they do go to your camp and they and you have this amazing gun they're not always gonna buy it right because maybe the weapon you're trying to sell um it doesn't fit their class or maybe that the weapon you're trying to sell isn't really you know they don't really want it so a way you can combat this is i know uh, a lot of you um higher level players are probably already doing this but what you do is there is a feature on uh, Xbox, and I'm pretty sure it's on PS4 as well. Correct me if I'm wrong. But um, you can make a post, and people will click on the post and say that they're interested in buying this weapon. So, all you really need to start with for this method is one bloodied weapon. It could be any weapon. Just make sure it's bloodied. Now, I say to make sure it's bloodied because people... Bloodied is a guaranteed buy, okay? I'm not it's not always gonna be a high um price to buy, but as long as it's bloody, it's gonna be bought by somebody. If it's um un so this is also the same with unyielding armor, but that is a little less, you know, guaranteed and um bloodied weapons are always gonna be bought. So make sure you have at least one bloodied weapon. And if you don't have a bloody weapon, here's a you can click here for a little method to help you get a ton of legendary weapons. So that's all you really need so far. Just get one bloodied weapon. Alrighty. So now that you've got your one bloody weapon that you're willing to sell, you're gonna want to find somebody at it who has a camp who are selling a bunch of weapons. Now, there's a, obviously you probably know this, but there's vendors at camps and there's ways to see who's selling what. And the way to check that is by just hovering over the little camp icon and it'll tell you how much ammo, how many weapons, how much armor they, they're carrying and they're selling at their camp. Now all you have to do is go and hover over all these camps and see which one is selling the most amount of weapons and go over to the camp. Now go to their camp and see if they also have a, um, a, a lot of bloody weapons. Now you're gonna want at least, you're gonna want this person that you're buying this stuff from to have at least two bloodied weapons in their vending machine now you're gonna look at the prices and the prices are usually a little high for um these bloody weapons so what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a post to sell the bloody weapon that you already have in your inventory and then you're gonna want to put the price so that you can afford at least two of the bloody weapons that are in the vending machines that you found so once you sell your bloodied weapon you have to buy both and then, and then you just went from one bloodied weapon to two bloody weapons. And I know you're like, how am I gonna be able to find something that's gonna wanna buy a bloodied weapon for the price of two bloody weapons? That's absolutely insane. But people will buy it. If a weapon that you're selling is is 
at least decent and fits their class, they will buy it, I guarantee you that. As long as it is bloodied. People are- the, the market for bloodied weapons is- is huge, you know? Everybody's gonna be looking for these bloodied weapons. So, just slightly overprice your bloody weapon on the post and people will, um, say that they're interested in your post and you can just sell your bloody weapon to them. Then, after you do that, use the caps that you got from selling the your bloody weapons off of this post and you can use those caps to buy the two bloody weapons in um, a vending machine that you found then you went from one bloody weapon to two and that's how you pretty much start it however what i just said is simply for those who can't really afford to buy a bunch of bloody weapons all at once and just go around to a bunch of vending machines and buy a bunch of bloodied weapons now that's not always how it's gonna work so if you do have a lot of caps to start with and you, and you have like 20,000 to 15 to 10,000 caps and you just want to make uh, a little bit more you can actually be the person that buys these bloody weapons off of the posts and you just keep buying that keep looking and searching and you um, find these posts that are selling bloody weapons and just keep buying bloody weapons now make sure you write down and remember the price that you bought the weapons for off the post so that you can see the profit that you want to make um after in the end like as you can see I have everything written down, I write down what I bought it for, I wrote down what I want for it, and I wrote down what I actually got. And there are multiple ways to start off with, um, to get an inventory of a bunch of bloodied weapons. You can do what I just said, and uh, start off with one legendary item and sell it, and then start buying more. You can just go off and buy a ton already if you already have a lot of caps. Or you can simply grind them out and get bloodied weapons like that. That's always good too, it just takes a little bit more time. Now let me explain where this method of getting caps really begins. So, I personally started with tw um, 29,000 caps. Um, so I was re obviously really easily able to just go around to um, people, other player vendors and just buy a bunch of bloody weapons. So I have a bloody mole miner gauntlet in my inventory, a shotgun, gatlin, um, laser, the grognak, barbarians, axe, meat hook, and a salt blade. Those are all bloodied. And I have all of those. So after I get these, I go and create a post and put them slightly higher than I bought it for. And you can make upwards of 5,000 to an upwards of only 100 caps each time you make a post and sell a weapon. And I'm going to show you guys the methods of how you know what weapon you have to price at and, and the price range that you're supposed to be putting certain weapons at. And I'll be showing you guys that right now. So as you guys, most of you guys probably know, there are um, bloodied classes in Fallout 76. Now these bloody classes, the people who run with these classes, are gonna be your main tar target um, consumers, and they're gonna be buying your the weapons that you're trying to sell. Now, mole miner gauntlets, um, grognax barbarian axes, meat hooks, and assault round blades, stuff like that, melee. Bloodied, bloodied melee users are going to be buying these like crazy at almost any price. You can put a bloody meat hook for 7,000 caps and they'll buy it just like that. So even if you did buy this meat hook for let's say 7,000 caps, I'm sure you can even make a profit of selling it at 7,100 caps. People will still buy that. So simply make a post, say that you're selling a bloody meat hook for 7,100 caps and it's, it's easy, it's done just like that, and you just wait a couple minutes, somebody's gonna say they're interested, you sell them, and you make a profit of 100 caps, just like that. Now, once you get to the guns, this is a lot more difficult, because not everybody's gonna want a bloody um, pipe pistol, right, or a bloody shotgun. Um, sh well, actually, shotguns do sell quite easily, so do rifles, but pistols, stuff like that, they're, not, they're gonna be a little difficult to sell, so... When you're going to be going to vendors, right, and you're going to be going on to these different vendors to get the bloody weapons to begin with, make sure you're buying them at a decent price, okay? You can't be buying a bloodied pipe pistol for for 2,000 caps. If you're if it's a pistol, you're going to be wanting to buy it at 500 because that's a decent price. And you can maybe make 200 caps out of that, sell, sell it for 700, and you can make um, a decent amount of money that way. Now, I know that I'm not the best... Um, at describing and, and, and instructing you guys how to do these methods. So here's the basics, okay? Um, you buy a bloodied weapon with any way possible, okay? You can either buy it at a player vendor, you can buy it off of a post, or you can just get it off of an enemy. 
Now, those are just ways that you can get these bloodied weapons. Now, once you have a bloodied weapon, you make a post um, on the PS4, like, um, post area, I don't know about that, or the Xbox, like, find a, find a group page where you can create a post. Now, if you guys do need help on figuring out how to exactly create a post, I'll be showing that. Um, just comment below and then I'll, I'll make a video on it if, if it's really necessary But after you guys got the gist so you make a post and you you sell a bloodied weapon that you bought or got For slightly higher than you bought it for so if you bought it from a player vendor you, Let's say you bought you bought a bloodied mole miner gauntlet from a player vendor for 300 caps I sold mine for 1250 caps off of a post so just simply buy it low and sell it a little higher and it's that easy. So that's basically it, guys. I made a total of 15, around 15,000 caps in uh, in around six hours. It is a little bit of grinding and it's a little bit of work and it can get, it does like stress out because there's so much components to it. But um, it's a super easy, easy, fast way to make caps. And once you get one bloody weapon, guys, I'm you, you just can't stop. You just keep getting more and you're gonna get really, really good weapons in the end. But yeah, I made a, made 15,000 caps and you guys can probably make a lot more. I would have made more and I had a couple weapons that I was still trying to sell, but I've hit the max amount of caps you can have in the game. So that's really it. Um, I hope you guys please uh, subscribe because like 98% of you um, aren't subscribed. I'm pretty sure. So um, yeah, please be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you dudes.